How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, your WWE Canadian podcast that talks about the WWE and No Holds Barred anything we say, pun intended. I'm your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters, and we have some huge news that I read today from a very valuable and very uh, good source, so... um, Although it is a rumor, so you got to take it with a grain of salt, but it is a huge rumor, and apparently it's more than likely to happen. And uh, it, I, I can't find it on any other news source, so it, it's kind of like tricky for me, but I think it's actually uh, going to come to fruition, and it's, it's coming from a reliable source. So I'm going to let you guys in on it uh, firsthand here, and it is a rumored about the Royal Rumble 2018 coming up this January in Philadelphia, and... What I got for you guys is the rumored Royal Rumble card that is more than likely to happen and some actually some surprise entrance and possible returns that are likely to happen at the Royal Rumble itself and the like, likely winner of the Royal Rumble and what entrant they are supposed to be at when they win the Royal Rumble this year. So got some, I had to get it into a quick little episode snippet here. So I'm going to probably put it on Twitter, YouTube, and it's going to be everywhere. Um, I'm hoping iTunes and Stitcher as well. So let's just get right into it, guys. And I'm going to open up the card here. And uh, we'll get to the Royal Rumble at the end and the Royal Rumble winner at the end of it. But uh, the first rumored match on the card is Charlotte versus Nikki Bella for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now that would be crazy. Um, Nikki Bella would have to have to return, um, and there was a lot of speculation on whether or not she was going to hang up the boots uh, just yet, and how well her neck is, and how how well she can come back for a run with that uh, healing neck injury from all the surgery she's had on it. So um, it looks like that she's going to be ready to go. Maybe they're just waiting a little longer and having her train more and rehab more. But by the Royal Rumble 2018, it looks like uh, that Charlotte will have won the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, and she will be defending it against Nikki Bella at the pay-per-view Royal Rumble. So that is the first written match. Um, I know they can do a really good feud with these two, so we'll see what happens. I think there'll be a really really intense feud for both these guys. Um, Obviously, Nikki Bella would play the babyface in this case, and Charlotte the heel as a champion. Maybe even Nikki Bella wins a heel, or maybe this is a spot Carmella even catches in. You never know. So that is the first rumored match. The second rumored match, <laughs> that's going to be me and my my uh, corporate co-host, Cobra Gabby, are going to be uh, butting heads if this happens. Bailey versus Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, I, if you listen to the show this week, I actually want this to happen at this year's SummerSlam. I think they can do a lot with it. There's a lot of history at SummerSlam this year for them. Um, basically, their first ever title match against each other was at in Brooklyn, and it, it was at the NXT event. Now, this time, they can do it at the SummerSlam event. I think that's a more logical booking in this case. But the rumored match is supposed to be Bailey and Sasha Banks at Royal Rumble. Maybe they carry the feud all the way to then. Or it could have been like our special host, Ty Jones, says they that could be saved for a later date. And it looks like that could be the case here, as Sasha will be facing Bailey as the... Uh, at the, the pay-per-view now the, the more interesting note here is it says that bailey is going into the pay-per-view as the champion so i'd figure sasha banks would be and she'd probably be already a heel by then or maybe bailey wins the title back and then uh, sasha banks turns heel and that's when she gets her title match against bailey at the pay-per-view now that's crazy though i can't wait for sasha and bailey to butt heads and go out and we finally get the heel turn we've all been wanting from sasha banks and i know myself and cobra cap who would definitely be butting heads or about that one too um Another match for the pay-per-view is Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Now, already that's three title matches, so it looks like they're going to stack this card just as much as they want to stack SummerSlam. So it looks like they're trying to make the big four pay-per-views bigger than they are. I mean, WrestleMania is always going to be huge, but it looks like they're trying to make the other three really big as well. So um, this is a good way to stack it. And we got Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. looks like Brock Lesnar will have the Universal title because it says he's going into the pay-per-view as champion. And that will be around the time that 2K18 is out for a couple of months. So, again, it looks like Seth Rollins is going to have a big year 
here, and there's going to be a big push behind Seth Rollins. I know I remember reading that a while back that it looks like WWE wants to give this guy another big run. So Seth Rollins with Brock Lesnar at Royal Rumble for the Universal title. Brock Lesnar going in as champion. Looks like he might even hold the title till then, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we don't know if Samoa Joe or Strowman will eventually win it in between now and then, so we'll have to see what happens. But that is likely the match we're going to get at Royal Rumble. Another match... Uh, could be in the crew. It could be in the pre-show. We never know. We'll see what happens with, with 205 Live when we get there. But Rich Swan is set to take on Neville for the Cruiserweight title at that pay-per-view. Looks like he's going to get another title shot and another title run sometime soon. Um, it has Neville going in as champion. I know a lot of people are complaining on Twitter and stuff saying that Neville's been the champion for too long. I think maybe there's a reason behind this right now. So we'll have to see what happens. But it shows Neville going into the Royal Rumble as the Cruiserweight champion to face Rich Swan. Uh, this is a crazy match right here. So this is the the last match before we get to the Romo match itself. It's Randy Orton versus AJ Styles versus John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now that could be interesting. I know a lot of people might not like this match, um, but I think that could be a really interesting match, and that'd be crazy. I think I think the winner of who the Royal Rumble is, is probably going to face them, or if it's a Raw Superstar, they're going to face the winner of Lesnar and Rollins, but I, I like that. I kind of see a lot of potential in that match. It could be a great match. could be one of the matches of the year. We never know, but uh, yeah, Orton, Styles, and Cena going into the pay-per-view uh, for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and the most interesting note about this is that Cena is labeled as the champion going into this pay-per-view. Not Randy Orton. I thought it would be Randy Orton when I first read the match card, but no, it's labeled Cena going in as champion. So it looks like eventually John Cena might win the WWE title either from Randy Orton or Jinder Mahal, and that could carry on with John Cena in a feud, and then AJ Styles added to it later on. But that seems to be the match that is going to take place at this year's Royal Rumble. Now here's the big news out of all this here, and that's the Royal Rumble itself. Um, The winner of the Royal Rumble is slated to be at number 13, in it and it still says it's going to be a 30 man over the top rope Royal Rumble. Um, the winner of this year's Royal Rumble is set to be none other than the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. I can't believe they're saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm taking that back. No, wait, wait, wait. we're calling him Shinsuke Nakamura. Enough of this artist known as bull crap. He's Nakamura. Okay. He's going to win the Royal Rumble apparently. And he's going to enter in at number 13. We'll see how true that is. I'm actually going to put this in my favorites this this uh, this, this episode here. I'm going to see how right it was when we get to that Royal Rumble. But it's Shinsuke is set to win the Royal Rumble. Finally, we get to someone that we actually want to win a Royal Rumble match. Other than Roman Reigns or someone we don't care about or a part-timer. We're going to get Shinsuke Nakamura. And it looks like he's going to face the winner of Styles, Cena, and Orton at WrestleMania. And I think AJ Styles is going to win that match. And we're finally going to get the setup dream match that we want in next year's WrestleMania for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And that is AJ Styles for Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE title. Holy shit. If that happens and I'm mean crap, you're going to WrestleMania next year. That is going to be awesome. That'll just make my entire trip. So I hope this is right. And I hope this actually is more than the rumor and actually comes true. So uh, let's get into some possible returns and appearances that are rumored to happen. One is Shelton Benjamin. Uh, I remember Shelton Benjamin that signed a contract or didn't sign a contract. It's that there was rumors that he did, but he didn't last year. And after he healed from his twin rotator cuff, he went back to the Indies and doing his own thing. He didn't sign with WWE. But they, again, Darby is probably still in contact with him for him to return, and it looks like Royal Rumble will be a spot for him to make an appearance. Um, it all said John Morrison might make an appearance in this Royal Rumble. It might be just be a first or, or one-off appearance. It doesn't look like he'll come back to WWE. Um, but John Morrison's contract with Lucha Underground is done around that time. Another one is Rey Mysterio. He's been said to wanting to come back to the company for some time now, and uh, maybe this will be his actual return, and he'll be in the 205 Live division. Maybe he comes into the Royal Rumble and feuds with someone from that division that's in the Royal Rumble itself. So who knows? Um, another one, obviously, is Adam Cole. Everyone thinks that uh, or thought that he was going to sign with uh, NXT very soon, and it looks like they're holding off on that, and I'm not sure what else is going on with that. Um, obviously, though, the next one is uh, obvious. It's happened. The last Royal Rumble, uh, Kenny Omega. Uh, who knows with him? Uh, his contract's not really done by that point. I think it's just going to be coming up to being over with New Japan. So we'll see. He might make. They could allow him to do a one-off appearance and then sign after his contract's done. 
So we'll have to see. And the last uh, rumored return or appearance is supposed to be Cody Rhodes. Apparently, there's a rumor going around that saying he might want to come back to the WWE eventually when he's done his uh, round with the Indies. And what better spot than the Royal Rumble to make his return? Hopefully not as Stardust, because that would be just god-awful and the worst idea imaginable. So, guys, that is the breaking news that I had for you guys. And I, just, I had to share with you guys in, the, in this little snippet episode. Um, I'm going to put it up on YouTube. I'm going to put it up on Twitter. It's going to be here on Spreaker itself. So, guys, check out the Lowdown Show from this week, uh, our Raw and SmackDown reactions with me and special guest host Tyler Jones. So that is going to pretty much do it, guys. See you next time. I'm Kyle Masters. Thanks for listening.